Okay, so very well bold. Um, you've had a controversial evening. It's not your fault. Um, but how do you keep your focus in bold as well as you did when all this craziness is going on around you? Um, I guess it's just about focusing on the next ball. Really, that's, that's what it is. Um, and we just go by what the umpires, what decisions the umpires make and what decisions that, you know, the, the technology influence. Kaiji, when you, when you hit Steve Smith's uh, pad, uh, it didn't really look like you guys were convinced. Um, just what, what was your initial thought and, and what did you think when you saw it was, you know, hitting? Well, um, I, I was hoping for umpire's call. Um, I, I felt as if it just skidded through, it didn't really bounce much. And as you know, Steve, he walks across his, his stumps, that's just his trigger. And it just, uh, from my angle and, and from Quinny's angle, it, it, looked, it looked quite good. And we decided to, to go up and yeah, I mean, the technology favored us today, but I thought it was, it was close. I don't think it was as obvious as missing. KG, that, that wicket uh, obviously was really important in that it opened up the, the middle order and, and you've got a bit of a history with, with Steve Smith. Just how important was it for you to get that and to know like, okay, we're in there now? Yes, um, I think he, he was looking good. Um, he was moving really well, you could see. And um, he's a key player for Australia. He really binds that, that team together um, that batting lineup together, and he is always a, a key wicket um, in any format. But looking at one day cricket, uh, he, he, he has the ability to occupy the crease um, and, and also you know, score runs um, whilst doing so. So he, he was definitely a big wicket, and uh, we knew we had to get him early. Koji, after the uh, Stoinis dismissal, which I think confused everybody. Um, there was seemed to be quite a lot of discussion on the field between you guys and maybe even involving the Australians. What was that about? Was there any suggestion that the appeal should be withdrawn, or what? What was the talk about? Well, I initially thought it hit his his thigh pad, and um, my teammates um, around me felt that he definitely they felt they heard a woody sound, um, um, and you know, Stoyan didn't look um, so convincing. He, I think he, he looked as if he felt as if he, he touched it. I guess the controversy was, was around the fact that his, his hand was, was off the bat when the ball made contact with his glove. Um, but uh, we, we thought there was the bat handle. Um, again, um, that's, that's not up to us. We, we reviewed it and the umpires made a decision. No, I don't think we can withdraw the appeal. That wouldn't make sense. Did they want to? Oh, no, they didn't. Uh, hi. Uh, this uh, South African team have played at uh, two venues which were considered uh, substandard during the IPL. So are you surprised by the quality of pitches that have come up when both the places you have you know, built up record scores? Yeah, um, in Delhi, there was quite a decent amount of uh, grass coverage. Um, and th that certainly uh, meant that the pitch would, you know, hold together for a longer time, which means it, w it would stay true. Um, and that was the case in Delhi. It was flat in Delhi. And today, you know, uh, judging on how the pitches played here in the IPL, there was one that was really dry and another that looked similar to what this one was like. Um, and you know the word around is that they have relayed the pitches i don't know um, how they've done that whether they've added more grass i'm not too sure um, but it certainly looks that way and um, yeah today uh, under lights it just seemed to um, to zip that extra bit more but uh, the word uh, during the day was that it was it had a bit of pace in it and, and a bit of bounce in it and i guess with a bit of the moisture at night, it just did a bit more. Um, Kaji, two-pronged question. Firstly, after the Sri Lanka game, there were a few people saying that 
you know even the batting the, the batting was good the bowling conceded quite a few runs um and and tonight you guys came out and really you were clinical from the start um was was that sort of part of the motivation that you guys feel that you can do better and the second one is just why aren't you opening the bowling anymore um the fact that we're not opening the bo- i'm not opening the bowling was a, a team decision um and whoever's opening the bowling will be trusted to do so it's a calculated decision um any any one of us can play can fulfill any role so it could change moving forward but for now that's the the combination that we went with um and i guess looking at every game there's always areas to improve uh we were um cognizant of the fact that we did slack off um in certain areas in the previous game barring the f- acknowledging the fact that it, it was a very true wicket and a small ground um but there will always be um areas to improve in, in the game of cricket but uh we'll do our analysis and we'll see how we want to move forward kg without putting the carriage before the horse actually in front of the horse um do you believe that overall this is a statement win actually for you guys just in terms of you know getting momentum and going on with it and running with it we're just looking to to play our best cricket uh whenever we play a game we're not we're not worried about what statements we're making we're only worried about the plans that we want to execute Katie, just on that, I mean, South Africa have done so, so well in these last two games that people are starting to now talk about you guys as, as you know, one of the favourites for the semis, etc. Uh, does it? Do you feel that yet, or are you still just like flying under the radar a bit? Uh, we're still a long way away, but there are plenty of positives to to take into consider or to take. Um, so that's a that's a good thing, um, but. Uh, we're looking to to rock up the next game. Like I said, we'll see how uh, we feel. We want to improve. Look at our strengths. Look at our weaknesses, and look to brush up. Uh, but generally, I th- I think we played nearly the perfect game of cricket. Um, so it's just about leaving this behind. Once we leave that behind, and focus on the next game. That's it. Okay, so um, apologies if this was asked earlier, but what did you take from the Australian bowling innings there? It looked like all three you quicks you know, tried a lot of cutters early on into the surface. Um, Australia, a quality bowling outfit. It's always nice to watch, and they've been doing it for years, this trio. Um, I thought they, they bowled really well, but our, our batters uh, absorbed the pressure and then transferred it when it was time to transfer the pressure. Um, it was never going to be easy, and it certainly wasn't easy, for our batters it's always a, a stiff stiff challenge against australia and we enjoy it